But we were talking about how Stan Kroenke, the owner of the Rams, who is also the owner of um, Alex Arsenal, where are they from in the Premier London. League? The, okay. So he owns a, a Premier League soccer club, right? Mm -hmm. He owns the Denver Nuggets. Mm -hmm. He owns an MLS franchise. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. Colorado Avalanche. I was going to ask you, does he own the Avalanche as well? Okay. So Stan Kroenke owns an NHL team and an NBA team in Denver. His NBA team is about to win a championship. I mean, he's one of the best owners in sports. I mean, whether you like him or don't like him or you have an opinion about him because he left St. Louis and you feel like he screwed them over and, and you feel like, you know, he over budgeted, he went over budget and blew up this $5 billion stadium. And gosh, maybe you don't like him because because you feel like, hey, he gave Dean Spanos a place to play and leave San Diego. Whatever your opinion is of Stan Kroenke, he's an excellent owner by virtue of his team's winning. Won a mm -hmm. Super Bowl two years ago. He's about to win an NBA championship. And the Avalanche have been a really good club. I don't know how many titles they've won, whatever. Stan Kroenke becoming the lead investor in the project that is supposed to happen down at the sports arena. Browner, I think you said it best. Now a project like that actually happens. It's not a bunch of nobodies that just showed up from out of town <clears throat> and they kissed Correct. enough political ass. And then they did, they went on the PR tour. Okay. <laughs> and they, and they weren't committed to an arena, but they kind of were using an arena to sort of sell their way in. If Stan Kroenke says, look, San Diego is an untapped territory for the NHL and the NBA. And by the way, doesn't have a world-class arena to put concerts and events and other things. Yes, Cox Arena up on campus at San Diego State is fine. Yeah, for yeah. what it's used for, yes. Right, Vie it's fine. Viejas. Well, I said Cox. Viejas <laughs> Arena, right? That's a previous, previous iteration, right? Well, the Cox was just on, you know, the whole thing, fixing the internet, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is this. With Stan Kroenke's backing, yes, projects like these get done. If Stan Kroenke builds a world-class, state-of-the-art 2025 arena, by the way, crypto.com is not that in downtown LA. I mean, it's fine, but it's it, now it's 20 years old. It's not that great anymore. Is it still called crypto.com arena? I know, even though their exchange went down. It is. <laughs> yeah. My point is, is that if you build a new arena in 2025, I'm not saying to you that an NBA team is coming. I've said all along, I don't think the NBA has any interest in San Diego. I'm not telling you an NHL team is coming because with, with one in LA and one in Anaheim, do you really need one in San Diego? What I am saying to you, though, is, is that remember years and years ago uh, when Jerry Jones, I told this story many times on the radio, when Jerry Jones said to me before the Rams got to L.A., the NFL wants guys like Stan Kroenke. That's why we want Stan Kroenke to go take L.A. because we know he'll do it right. If Stan Kroenke wasn't an, was not an NFL owner, we, the NFL owners, would be recruiting a guy like Stan Kroenke. This is Jerry Jones telling this story years ago. If San Diego gets Stan Kroenke's money in town and he builds a 2025 arena, I'm not saying the NHL's coming or the NBA's coming, but at least the city is in consideration if those leagues were to move or expand because now they have a world-class arena to accommodate those kinds of, of, of clubs. And that's mm -hmm. exactly what happened with the MLS team. You know, when it was a pipe dream, it was cute to have Landon Donovan involved. And it was cute to have a guy who had name value. But then when it, when a stadium was built and they had a facility to play in, they threw Landon Donovan away. They're like, we don't need him in his name. We got this billionaire from Egypt. He's better, right? Well, what about Landon? He's our guy. He's like one of the greatest stars in the history of the league. Screw him. He don't got a billion dollars. So once the stadium was built, the league decided it wanted to come, and then it went and looked for the biggest money. Same could potentially happen in San Diego if you have a world-class arena and the, and the NBA says, well, we're going to expand. We're going to go to Vegas, Seattle. Uh, we're thinking about someplace else on the West Coast. No building, no consideration. Building, maybe. I mean, at least maybe. What I do know is that he wouldn't waste his time building this unless these things were going to be built within this stadium. He would not have taken this over. He's not doing it for the property. He doesn't want to build apartments like you were saying before. It's not some scheme where, hey, if you give us this land to build apartments, We'll build you this new sports arena, blah, blah, blah. That's not what he's doing. He wouldn't be doing this unless he was building this with an idea of putting something in there of professional nature. He's not doing that for concerts. He's not doing that for, for you know, I, IHL or whatever these other underlying leagues are called, arena football. He's not doing it for that. 
He's doing it because he has a plan on it. And that and and, and that no one knows. We'll see. But until we do see, I'm glad somebody with actual money, somebody who we don't have to read the fine print of the deal. You look up and I was just apartments there and there's no sports arena. All that's gone now. All that's I, gone. I would, I would guess. That, I would guess. We had apartments. that one guy on the show and we yeah. asked him, well, are you going to, are you committed to building an arena? And he was like, eh, 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 eh. maybe we'll, we'll see. see. Okay, no, but I'll tell you land. right now, but Browner apartments, hotel, retail, Cronky's a real estate developer. He's not just a sports team owner. You know oh, what I mean? So, oh, yeah, so yeah, he'll, yeah, yeah. So he'll he'll understand the value of the land outside of the arena. Your your point about, you know, he won't build it if he doesn't think that there's a possibility of a pro franchise coming. Probably a solid point. But I, I will tell you this. With a new arena, I mean, you can get the best concerts, the best sure. shows. You don't. You could fill the place 250 nights a year without a hockey team or a basketball team. I mean, um, think about what the sports arena is already getting. You know, like I, I, a week from now, true. I'll be there to watch Blink-182 a week from today. Uh, I think that we've all seen a, a, some sort of legendary performer perform at the sports arena now. I mean, I see Red Hot Chili Peppers, Killers, Chance the Rapper with your kids. Like, like, yeah. like you know, I think Elton John was there not that long ago. Dude, really. I saw Pink there about a yeah. year or two ago. I've seen, you mentioned the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I've seen the Black Eyed Peas. Um, I'm uh, Andre Bocelli, yeah. you know, I mean, like there's been every... WWE events there. Yeah. I mean, the Lakers played their preseason there. How many NBA teams come down the Denver Nuggets uh, pl- uh, practice here in the summer, the Lakers, mm-hmm. the Clippers. And that's been directly the because of too. San Diego state, because mm-hmm. if you build things, things come. And I know that's a stupid, uh, you know, no, it, thing, it, but, it, but it, I'm saying it, like, it's not a guarantee dragon has but proven. Yes. But I'll give you the opposite side of it. You ready? Mm-hmm. Here, here's an example of where they built it and nobody came in Kansas city. They had an old school arena, just like the sports arena in San Diego. It was called Kemper arena. This is a generation ago. They're like this arena sucks. Nobody wants to play here anymore. Um, including like the big 12 tournament. We're like, we got to get out of here. So they built in Kansas city, a state of the art hockey arena. And they anticipated getting an NHL hockey team. Never came. So they've got yeah. a great building. Sure. You know, I mean, listen, um, no offense. It's Kansas City. I get it. I get it. But 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 a great sports town. Yeah. Yeah. But what I'm telling you is that think about every time an event has happened here. The praise that the city gets Mm -hmm. gets from it. The last Mm -hmm. time this city hosted a major national event was was it the all star game at Petco in 2016? Probably. And I mean, now it's open. Breeders' yeah. Cup. There you go. So I think now every time that happens, you see the praise. You see how people want to come here more. People always want to come back here for for other things. I'm not telling you. I actually don't even think it'll happen because Cronky's already got an NBA team. Were they going to give him a second one? No, they're not. Sure. But, but okay, this is a good whoa, point. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. I got I I, I got pushback against that. Okay. Well, I'm I'm not going to suggest to you that he's going to sell his Colorado hockey team and basketball team and establish new franchises in San Diego. But what I will say is this, if he owns the building, he says to the NBA, his partners at the NBA or the NHL, Hey fellas, I built a killer building in San Diego. Doesn't have NHL, doesn't have NBA. Um, City is, is desperate for more sports. You know what? Um, There's no NFL to compete with. So why don't we, the NHL, put a team in there, expand, or, hey, these guys are moving from this market. San Diego, I got the building. So I don't know what you were going to say, Browner, but I don't know that he's going to sell to own new teams, and he's not going to own multiple teams in the same league. But if he owns the building and he wants a tenant, he might go to those two leagues and to his partners and go, hey, would you guys move a team here? 